Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And in the day of rugby announcements, the news just keeps getting busier and busier. Ireland have officially named their squad for their tour to South Africa, the two-match series, uh, one of the biggest series, I think incoming series South Africa have had in a very, very long time. Uh, it is the number one side in the world meeting the world champions and uh, everything to play for. A 35-man squad named by Andy Farrell, two massive absentees, no Jamison Gibson Park, no Jack Conan. Also, three uncapped players in the form of Jamie Osborne, Sam Prendergast, and Cormac is a Chuku. So, uh, a very interesting squad to to go through. And uh, this is the squad that, you know, that the box are going to have to be at their best to beat. Uh, there's still so much world class quality across the side that will be captained by Peter Omani, who will continue his international career. Um, and uh, it's going to be an absolute epic uh, two matches. Before we look at the squad, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is what it looks like. Let's go through it, shall we? Uh, it is a 35-man squad. Um, they will assemble on Thursday, um, and they will depart on Tuesday, the 25th of June. Um, so considering that their first game is on the 6th of July, you are going to arrive a bit early, but uh, we'll want to adapt the altitude uh, before they in their first game at Loftus. Uh, on the 6th of July before going down to Durban for the 13th of July. Let's go through it, shall we? Uh, the forwards are as follows. It is Ryan uh, Bielk. It is Finley Beelham, Ty Byrne, Kellen Doris, Ty Furlong, Kian Healy, 129 caps for Ireland, by the way. Rob Herring, uh, Cormac Izachuku, uncapped. Oli Yeager, just the one cap there. Ronan Kelleher, Joe McCarthy, who had such a good Six Nations. Peter Omani as captain um, with 105 caps. Uh, Tom Tool, Andrew Porter, Kian Prendergast, um, James Ryan, Dan Sheer, Nick Timoney, and Josh van der Fleer. No Gavin Coombs, who continues to almost be like frozen out of the Ireland squad. Very strange to see that you think about the, the season he's had, um, but still doesn't quite get the call up. So a very big absentee that. If we look at the backs then, it's Bundy Aki, Cullen Blade, Craig Casey, Jack Crowley, Kieran Forley, Robbie Henshaw, Jordan Lama, uh, Jack Stuart McCloskey, Connor Murray, Calvin Nash, Jimmy O'Brien, Jamie Osborne, Sam Prendergast, Gary Ringrose, and Jacob Stockdale. Uh, the two undercover players there, Jamie Osborne and Sam Prendergast. So, big absentee there, no Mac Hansen, um, who's been struggling with injuries since the World Cup. So, that's a big absentee there. Apart from that, pretty straightforward with regards to who you expect to see. Obviously, no Hugo Keenum because he's playing involved in the seven series and will not be coming onto this tour. Uh, it's a good squad. It's it's a phenomenal squad, really. And uh, interesting, it is quite a big squad for what is just two matches. Um, you usually, I mean, the World Cup squad, for example, was 33. You often see a 30 man squad. So to bring a 35-man, well, whether this will be the one, I mean, maybe this is the one that does that does leave. So it is a big squad to bring over for two matches. Um, so I think a lot of it is a, sort of a certain amount of building as well. You know, they've had a Six Nations, now it's time to sort of bring players into the system, not necessarily play them. So, for example, I don't expect to see Sam Brendergast or Jamie Osborne play, even though Cormac is a Chuku. I'll be surprised if we see them get game time um, against Springboks. But important for, for Ireland to stop bringing these players in, getting them involved in the systems and... Um, and, uh, and preparing them for the future. It's incredibly experienced. I think this is the big thing, you know, when we look at the two different teams. For example, South Africa have got, you know, so many players who played 50-plus caps, but you look at this island side, and there is just so much experience. Uh, Finley Beale has got 40, 40 caps. Ty Burns, 50. Kellen Doris, 41. Ty Fair on 76. Ken Healy, 129 caps. Rob Herring, 39. You know, uh, Peter Marnie, 105. Andrew Porter, 64. James Ryan, 62. Uh, even Dan Shear, you know, 26 caps, and he's one of their best players. Josh Van der Fleer, 62 caps. If you look at the back line, Mandy Aki's uh, got 50-plus caps. Robbie Henshaw's got 50-plus caps. Um, uh, if, you know, it's... it's it's Gary yeah, Ringworth, 58 caps. Um, Conor Murray, 116 caps, you know. So so no Jameson Gibson Park, I think, for me, is the biggest absentee. Uh, Jack Conan, I think, is obviously a big uh, miss, but I think that there's, you know, Nick Timmy, I really rate him quite highly. Um, if he does get the the, the, the the chance there. But I think that uh, James Gibson Park, for me, one of the best players in the world, and he's the man that makes this island side tick. And the fact that he's got a hamstring injury, will not travel, for me as a Springbok fan, is fantastic news in terms of uh, them being a lot weaker, I think. I think Craig Casey and Conor Murray are, are world-class players. Well, Conor Murray is world-class. Craig Casey is, you know, a young player coming through. But um, I genuinely look at, uh, at at James Gibson Park, and I think he's one of the main reasons island side is so potent. So I think that's going to be the massive loss they will have. Uh, it's going to be an interesting battle of the forwards. You know, it's a big players there, interesting battle at the front row. And this island side, you know, they're being they they they're now having to sort of disprove that they are you know, chokers, that they've got a mental issue. Leinster now have uh, lost you know semi final or final recently, which is a lot of these players, for example. Um, we've got uh, obviously the, the wounds of the World Cup and, and we knocked out in the uh, in the group stages or in the quarterfinal rather, uh, which is still very raw for them. So it's a lot for them to try and prove. 
Let me know what you think of the squad. Which players as a Springbok fan gives you nightmares at night? Which players uh, are you expecting to see involved? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.